Feel free to take a look around here for a moment. Let me know if you've got any questions. We'll get you up in the cockpit anytime you're ready. So how many can it carry? How many bombs can it carry? So it can carry 10,000 in this bomb bay and 10,000 in the well, back. Well, it has two bomb bays. Ah. So uh, it depends on the weight of the bombs. These are 500 pounders. So uh -huh. I think physically there's enough space for, I think, 16 bombs of this size in here. In here? But oh. if you could, you could actually carry a little more weight than that. Oh, all right. And how do you get between one area and the other? Is there a catwalk here? Ah, great question. So this airplane was pressurized, uh -huh, right, unlike right, right. all the bombers before it. So the bomb bay, of course, was not pressurized, mm -hmm. only the occupied portions of the airplane were. Mm -hmm. uh, during flight, if you needed to get from the cockpit to the gunner's compartment, you crawl through that tunnel up Oh, there. okay. Yeah. I was trying to figure out, I said, maybe it's that tunnel. Yep. I said, yep. maybe it's yeah, a tunnel. Yeah, there's no walking. You uh. gotta crawl through there. I wish the physical fitness standards that were <laughs> once in place would be the I'm not yeah, I'm yeah. not sure they're quite up to the same standard they used to be. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's Okay. So many obese people. I see that. I knew someone back in the day. Gone? Okay. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Hi. How are you doing? Good, how are you? Good. We do have our covers on our, um, our pilot's instrument panels just because it kind of got raining on us. Right, uh, right, these right. These aren't as watertight as they used to be. Oh, okay. Got it in? Yeah, I'm fine. So this Hi, is the radio you. room here? Radio yes, control? Sorry. Um, Logan, Navigation? Yes. Is there anybody down there? No. Can you get some rags? Because this is really wet up here. Just a moment. So yeah, radio operator, navigator. This is the flight engineer. The flight engineer controls all four engines. Uh-huh. And then we've got our pilot and our co-pilot, and then the bombardier sits in that seat up front. Right, right. Um, we have the cushions out of it now. Just So, so what would the, these other two chairs here? Oh. So pilot and co-pilot. Oh, pilot, co-pilot. Mm -hmm. And the side. So why are the controls so far away? Without, not, uh, the chairs scoot forward. Oh, they we do. We have them scooted back so the pilots can get in and out. And I can lift this up so you can see what their panel Allie, looks here's like. Allie, some rags when you're ready. Okay, just um, hang out with them for a sec. Well, we've got one guy down here. I'm going to talk to Oh, yeah, you can take them. Yeah, Thank you. There you go. Mm -hmm. And you can set them on that desk and all. But there's the... Uh... So we've replaced a few instruments uh -huh. with um, modern ones, but anything we could keep original, we, we try to keep original. And, and keep the reason why you had to do that is because otherwise the plane wouldn't be qualified to yeah. fly, right? Yeah. We, our pilots go through... Is this, I saw downstairs that it says that this plane is classified as an experimental. Yes. Right, so you cannot take, like, commercial Yeah, flights. so we, we take passengers, um, we can take 10 passengers, mm -hmm. uh, but we aren't, like, a commercial airliner, and because this wasn't designed to carry passengers originally, I'm going to try to not fall out that hole. Mm -hmm. um, Getting a little slick in here. Um, because this wasn't designed to carry passengers, it was designed to carry bombs. Uh -huh. uh, we had to make modifications to carry passengers and stuff, so it's an experimental aircraft. And then. I just like to take a look. Yeah, yeah, totally. Okay, any instrumentation here had to be upgraded, or still this is still some of the so original. So some of the so some of the originals that we don't use anymore have the NOP. Uh -huh. On them, these we use. So these are RPM manifold, fuel pressure. Um, we obviously don't use the life raft doors, and then um, main oil pressure, torque, oil temp, cylinder head, carburetor. And there's three and four and one and two. The little so we've got three and four and one and two. Uh -huh. And the flight engineer controls all four engines. Uh, so the pilot does is not involved in engine control. So the pilot does have throttles, but the pilot really only uses the throttles to help steering for taxi mm -hmm. takeoff. 
Um, and then after that, it's flight engineer. We have no nose wheel steering, so we steer with our brakes and our throttles. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, <clears throat> and there's no way to get there, right? From here. Um, yeah, we keep it closed off just because it's dangerous to go back and forth. And then the bombardier is that little no step yeah. up there. And, that and that's where the that's navigation there. computer is. So that's the northern bomb site, yeah. the black bomb site in the front. And the navigator actually sat at that table. Uh -huh. And the navigator could stick their head up in that hole and use the stars to navigate as well. Oh, okay. Star, to yeah. the Star navigation, yeah. yeah, yeah. And what is that other navigation computer that sits over there on top. So the black thing up uh -huh. against the windows, that's actually a gun sight that he could swivel down and use. Oh, okay. He was okay. Able to do a bomb sight. A gun sight. Oh, yeah. And obviously all these chairs happen to be upholstered, the ones that happen, right? Yeah, we uh, we keep the seat backs over mm -hmm. there whenever it gets rainy, just because if it leaks any, we don't want the pilots to have a wet seat tomorrow. Right, right. Because we'll be fine tomorrow. Obviously. Weather provided, like weather permitting. Is it possible, since I can't go there for you to take this camera and go up front? Sorry, my face is in it. That's fine. Oh, my can... dad has a 360 camera, and any videos my, that I'm in, my face is stretched right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's true. So, what, what is the uh, um, range that this plane can fly? So, it depended on what we carried. Mm -hmm. So, we now can carry 55. 100 gallons of fuel, um, and we cruise at about 225 miles an hour. Mm -hmm. um, could I have you step back? Could I have you hold on just one second, sir? Should I have you hold on just one second before you pop your head through? Okay, just watch that slippery right there. All right, I'll get it. Oh, yeah, I see that. Yeah, I'm gonna put some towels down because. It wasn't bad earlier, but it's been getting more wet. You can see Just water forward. based, right? Yeah. Is it all right to sit here or not? Um, if you want to sit on that seat for a second, we will have to start scooting eventually and uh, let these people come in. But I just wanted to dry this off real quick. Okay. All right. That's a little more safe. <laughs> okay. So what is this? Here. So this is a, a turret. We're using it for storage now, uh -huh. but there would have been a mechanism here and here that would have hung down um, that would have been part of the gun. All right. So if this plane was pressurized, that means this hatch must have been Yeah, able we have to a door. It. We just took it off All for right. this. Like we take it off for tours. What is hydraulics. this? Hydraulics. So the high brakes are hydraulic, and that's the only hydraulics we have. I'm surprised that more if it would not be hydraulics. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Our bomb bay doors are pneumatic, and then. Um, that's probably just the high point tank. It's probably white tanks. So only our brakes can use that hydraulics. Yeah. So this is the exit? Yes, so you'll put your right hand here and your left hand here, and that'll help you turn around. I can hold your stick. There we go. Make sure three points of contact and don't pull on that door because it's um, what's a magneto? 
Magneto. Is that Magneto? Magneto? Yeah. It's uh, typically on an engine that generates its own electricity for firing uh, plugs on an engine, if that's what you're looking at. But a Magneto is a self uh, 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 mechanically rotated mechanism that yeah, generates typically high voltage electricity. Generate yeah, different voltages with it, run radios. They have a good climber. Huh. It works on induction and magnets. another old pair of stairs? That's the crew ladder. So this is a passenger ladder that we made. Oh, the crew so ladder would have hung there. Oh, that's yeah. Right. And we had it. It's just in the tunnel. And these are the handles? Some of them, yeah. So this is this is the out, yes. Okay, good. Um, this, it went in that cubby.